Hey, what's up, guys? Chris Bacon Wizard here, back on this Monday with some more Red Dead Redemption 2. I hope everybody had a great weekend. I'm ready to get going with Arthur Morgan again. I haven't played since last stream. Uh, I actually, I, well, that's not quite true. I did a little bit of hunting. I finally finished off all of the muskrats that I needed for uh, for the outfits. Now I have to move on to some other animals. Uh, so, um, I'm not sure if I want to do that first or just do some story missions. I'm not sure yet. I'll have some fun here with Arthur Morgan and his horse here. Hey, Oreo. How you doing, boy? A girl. That's a girl. Sorry, I, I forgot. See. If I want to do some more hunting first, we might do that. Um, I st I've been still didn't trying to make up my mind what I want to do. <laughs> I probably should have had that figured out for a stream, but uh, I just hadn't quite decided. Let's see. For one outfit, all I need is a cow, a one rabbit pelt, a cow pelt, a bull, and a boar. The other outfit, I need a ram, ar two armadillos, a goat, and an ox. <laughs> and some of those animals I have not even seen yet. Sorry, I was pulling out my list there. That's why I'm not moving. Sorry. Hop on down, Oreo. Yeah, I finally got those little muskrats done. Yeah. They were a pain in the butt. Yeah. This little bee animal. Oh, it's really bright over there. Hey, what, what do we want to do? We got a Reverend Swanson mission back at camp. And then we got a Micah mission. It's going to be a bunch of craziness. Still wagging the explosives. <laughs> Yeah, let's go ahead and do the Micah mission though. We'll get started off with that. And then we might do some hunting. Yeah, there's a girl. So we'll cut through the woods a bit. It should save us a little bit of time. Just kind of gotta be a little, be a little careful. Let's go flying off the horse. Especially where it's a little, a little bit bright right there. I had trouble navigating. <laughs> Staying back this time. Us Murphys, we share everything. That's, that's what weapons do I have on me? Shotgun, varmint rifle. Get back quick! Oh my gosh! There was a trap. <laughs> oh, that's the first. Damn. <laughs> they lured me into a trap. We gonna get you. Oh, you ain't killing me, nah. Oh, you running for real now. I ain't letting him go. Come on. Come on, Arthur. You can run real fast in there. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, auto save thing. Man. <laughs> that was cool though, but man. I'm glad they didn't kill my horse. Yeah, they're not too happy we took their uh, uh, their cave. <laughs> Man, a freaking trap! I fell down into. <laughs> Alright, over here. Yeah, we should throw the bodies down in that hole. Once we're done. I ain't going back for that one. It's way out that way. But these three. We will. Oh, that one's missing his head. Oh. So they had some Guarma run. I don't want to even see the name Guarma anywhere. That stupid island. That, that was dumb. I hated that missions. Oh, come on, get down in there. Left. <laughs> Here, heavy trap. Adios. Better luck next time. <laughs> right, man, look at my got my clothes all bloody now. Dang, are they? Towards the mica mission. Yep. Like, what are we doing again? I wonder if the ground it was an obvious looking trap and I just didn't see it. Wasn't looking. Yeah. I don't know, I might have to go back and look at the video later. Dun, dun, dun. This is check, chapter 6 stuff, so if you're not wanting any spoilers, then probably don't watch this. <laughs> That's why I put chapter 6 in the title. Ah, there he is. Old Black Lung Morgan. Shut up. Was you followed? I was ambushed, me. but then I got rid of Was <laughs> you followed? You know who you're talking to. I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Is that so? Because it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. Seems wherever you is, there's Pinkertons and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, yeah, boy. boy. <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief, way your head. Micah, shut it. He started it. Dutch says we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We gotta get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too much what you think. That's clear. We gotta confuse him one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone knows it. Even a greedy moron like you. It's Dutch's choice, Arthur. You're just a senior gun, same as the rest of us. 
Only you ain't well. I'm fine. Then you'll do Dutch's bidding, which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage. All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me. You two. I got my own planning to do. You boys got this. Shit. Guess we have. Come on, Arthur. And Cowpoke. Take it easy. You could do with a vacation. Hmm? <coughs> I guess. All right, let's go. Let's get better weapon. I don't need the uh, varmint rifle. Let's see. Pulp action shotgun is actually pretty good. We'll leave that. We should jump it as soon as it comes through Van Horn. So you're taking orders from him now? I'm taking orders from Dutch, same as always. <sighs> the pair of them are becoming unhinged. You hear about Dutch killing Cornwall? Well, that needed to be done. Oh, let's hold him. Hey, hold up oh. a second. Pinkerton Patrol, oh. over there. Okay, I think we're clear. Let's head off. So. You was just talking about something. <laughs> right now, the Pinkertons breathing down our necks. See, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. Whoa! Okay. Let's hold up here. will be coming from that way, down from Annisburg. It'll take the two of us to stop it completely, or it'll never get done. So I was thinking, you go play <laughs> dead, and I'll take care of you. <laughs> no, I'm the better shot, and you, you're the better actor. No, you play dead, and I'll cover you. I got that. <coughs> I got that. Oh, that's them coming now, I think. It'll be quite the show. <laughs> <laughs> Move you, is it? Come on, let's get you out of. Oh, hell, I'm here. I'll move it. Oh, I used that move. No, I ain't Bill. Oh, damn. Is that it? There. All of a sudden it went really laggy. That was the game. <laughs> All right. 
right, let's see if we can get this man oh, to blowing ourselves up. Nice shooting back there. Nice drunk playing. Comes naturally. <laughs> I could use a drink after that. Oh, no. Just never goes easy no more, does it? Oh, shit! Deal with them, Arthur! <laughs> Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, we might fail this. I keep missing this. Nah, that's not the right one. Let's just do the revolvers here. Yeah. Sucked. I needed to fill my dead eye back up before we uh, got into that. It's hard to hit anything moving like that. Alright. I need to fill up my dead eye core. Up. A bunch of candy and then some chewing tobacco. Nice and that's. Uh, I don't have my horse to switch out weapons. So, what should we do? Just revolvers? Comes I guess. Ooh. I could use a drink after that. Oh, uh, no. Just never goes easy no more, does it? Oh, shit! Deal with them, Arthur! Uh. Easier. <laughs> I thought there was no law in that form. Does that really matter right now, Bill? That was only three guys. I guess it was three guys. <laughs> so easy. Oh, Over. Whoa! So, you 
got it? We got it. Yes, we got it. What's wrong, Arthur? Nothing at all, boss. John, go drive this over to Bacchus Bridge. Get a hidden near there. He really does think Bill, he's in charge. You go on ahead. I need to speak with Arthur. Good work, son. What's going on? Listen. I know we ain't always seen eye to eye, and uh, you find me irritating and a threat, and I like to annoy you. But right now, I need better from you, Arthur. Okay, Micah. Whatever you say. I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur. But I am a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said, Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. Yeah, I ain't trusting that guy. <laughs> I don't trust Dutch no more either. Headshot five soldiers with a long scoped rifle. I thought I'd, I guess I didn't quite get five of them with it. I didn't get eighty five percent accuracy either. <laughs> yeah. So go help John. Is it not ready yet? We've got Strauss mission. Uh, there's a letter to read, but I don't know about that just yet. I guess I gotta do the Reverend thing first and then the John thing will show up, but it seemed like we were going supposed to be going to do the thing with the bridge now. I guess not though. I'm gonna see what the Reverend needs, I guess. feed them something too. There's an apple. Hey Charles. Arthur. It's good to know you're still with me at least. Of course Arthur. Said that last time. Children. So there's not new stuff then. Alright, just go and get the mission going. <coughs> Reverend? You okay, Mr. Morgan? Hey, Xander, know, you're in class. These are challenging times for all of us. Hey, sorry, yes, it took me a second to see that. Challenging. You don't seem yourself somehow. I, I've always felt. I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York. We are going to go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're going to get a boat. We're going to get on a river, and we're going to go How you north. Doing, New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing <laughs> girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of... Commotion, and then we disappear. We need more commotion. One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Sure, fine. Pardon me for interrupting. 
So this wasn't really a reverend mission. You just start out talking to him. I did that for Hello. Hello. Dutch. This is Eagle Flies. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn. How do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father is confused. Wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much, been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. Men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Arthur, we must go with them. To try to stop things from getting out of hand. You're good luck with that. I guess. Come along. That's the whole tale of the story. Everything gets out of hand. We can get the more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping them up into a frenzy. We got enough folks coming after us without adding an army to the list. You're going to let these bastards walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this Colonel Favors. Oh, He's whoa, whoa, what? 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 He started to run off the cliff. Take pleasure of persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation. I think I got the cinematic camera. Shipped off to reform oh, schools. Man. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. Oh, look at Fox. Okay. Why are you getting involved in this, Dutch? You know me. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves, and even you know that. I told you, noise. Uh, the guy running off need the after noise, the Arthur. Noise and faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think. Just think for a second. The Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the army and the Indians might be just the distraction oh, okay. we need. Kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall was funding the Pinkertons' assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with him? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. I guess the we Xander had to go away. back to class. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back to the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. I guess so. We have to stick together. Now more than ever. Alone, they'll pick us up. Why am I taking off? We wouldn't the heck? last five minutes out <laughs> there. Not you, not me, not any of us. That was weird. I was going to just keep on going. There's Peta. She looks pretty good about having me go where I need to go. Man, like I said, 
They'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Come on, let's go. Well, Nick and Arthur do all the rowing here. One Dutch boat to row. We need to get that boat ashore. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, board her. Then when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, float away. <laughs> we'll be ashore before anybody even knows what yeah, happened. Sure. Keep saying that, Dutch. <laughs> Okay. I have my knife out. Okay, we'll change it. Get a letter from his father. Stop the boat. I'm in. No, I'll fuck it. Crazy. We can go higher than that. God damn it, no. I'm out. Alright, All right, what do we do about these guys? Yeah. Then you just go back down, go around. Got some on their own. So I take one. There, other two are going to notice. Do I do all oh, the throwing knife? Maybe. Anybody, though. Whoops. Aren't you dealing with the anchor? You think I have the first idea how this anchor works? <laughs> Dynamite on a boat. Sounds like a good idea. You. 
Hey, what's wrong with you? The boys all right back there? Yeah, I think so. But there's a huge hole in the boat. Horses are spooked, and we're taking on water. Come on, get them out of here. Well, whatever else is wrong with you, you're quite the best pilot I've ever come across. <laughs> The horses are confused. We need to round them up. I'll get these four, Arthur. Can you go after the others? Okay. Over here, come on. Come on. I the other two just gone like they're gone. These horses to land. So they only had like five horses, six horses. You fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. My father doesn't want to fight again. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur... Oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we going to wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop <laughs> worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Combe. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. My father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, Jeff. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? Sure. Saul. So, sure. I'll speak with him. You head on back to camp, check on the others, touch his behaviors. Yeah, Arthur's not looking good at all anymore. Thank you, Arthur. Hey. Gold, gold of that mission. All right, so we're gonna go talk to the, the Native American son there. Uh, I think is that an option yet? We'll keep going on that story. Go speak with Rainsfall. And then there's a Marston mission, and then Sadie back here in Saint Saint Denis. Well, what's the question mark here? We might have to go check that out first. Let's see this stranger mission. Oh my gosh! Okay, my oh dang, did I kill him? <laughs> Goodness! <laughs> oh, I'm one dead or alive in Van Horn because we took out the other little uh, people with that dynamite wagon.
Somebody's had a few. <laughs> hey there, partner. Oh, come on, you didn't hit you. Come on, girl. The stranger. For Christ's sake, just relax. Hey, like I fear. Excuse me, partner. What? Got a smile on my face <laughs> today. Nice. Is he inside here? No. It means hurting Miss Marjorie. Why, well, I thought you liked me. I've clothed you. I fed you. Bertram does like Miss Marjorie. Yes. And Miss Marjorie likes Bertram. So why don't you go and tell me where that nasty little Magnifico has run off to so I can get on with whipping that snack who's oh. running into shape? He owes me. He owes us. Big time. Bertram and Marjorie. Wouldn't Bertram okay? like a sherry? Imagine saving people. Taking them to your breast, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. Treachery. And these are sad, low, unlovable people, and I made them stars, dreamers, entertainers, and they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little <laughs> tiny magician has gone and stabbed his mom in the back. <laughs> oh, fuck it, he. <laughs> no, Bertram, 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 woof, woof, Bertram, put the nice man down. Do something, you only eat him. Um, uh, e e e easy there. Uh, easy there. Sure. Uh -oh. Bertram. Easy, big guy. Uh, huh? Mean! Mean man! Oh, you can't grab him. Not nice! Listen to your mother. Bartram, you a whoopsie! The fighting in this game is actually pretty good, though. It's not complicated, you like just block and punch, but it actually feels good. <laughs> Let's be friends, okay? <laughs> oh yes, Marjorie's here. No one's gonna hurt you ever again. Mama, you should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, we'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico. Hmm? But he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's gonna make it all better. But first, you gotta tell me where that little worm ran off to, hmm? Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise, too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract, and he broke it. So very nice. You just tell me exactly <laughs> where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you gave me a whoopsie. Stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram likes sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. <laughs> Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. You'll know him when you see him. <laughs> All right. Smell of the grease paint. What's the name of that mission? Stay here. All right. Can we keep going on that one? Is there a spot, or do I have to run across him? Oh, there is a spot. Magnifico. There's what. That's what we're gonna do. Let's see where this. How this plays out. All right. We need a new hat. guy over this time. I think I might be the same guy. <laughs> yeah. These, the stranger missions are definitely strange. <laughs> oh, we can, we can rescue somebody here. My business partner. Could you free me, please? No! I, I just happened to have my gun out, sorry. I'm tied up here. Uh I'm trying. I think I'm gonna have to pick them up. <laughs> I can't get to her to untie her. I'm struggling in these ropes, please. That's more than the Muffry game. Ah, see, it's still. Fine, I'll just die like no, this. Oh, hang on. There we go. Sorry, it just took a second. Thanks for helping. When you <laughs> did, I'll make do from here. Well, you're welcome. Jeez. <laughs> Just because I took a little while to untire. Oh, I looted the... There wasn't one of the... There was a the guy they killed. I looted and lost a little bit of honor. Sorry. Oh, he killed the horses. Let's go, girl. Yeah. The achievement for getting max honor, honor. I'm way up there, but it's pulling up slowly now. Buddy. We probably cut across here. Done good, girl. Done good, girl. 
Yeah, we're about there. We'll just wash you off here in a little bit, Oreo. Go find this magician. Oh, there's the right there. Brush, hey, huzzah! Hey, sorry, I took me a minute, man. I didn't see notice that. Sorry. How you doing? I was in trying to not get my horse killed, cutting through the the woods. What is he throwing into the fire? That's amazing. If you say so. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Magnifico by any chance? I'm not going yeah, it's good, man. She's a witch! She's a witch! Who? Presta! Well, she cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. I share the money with her and, uh, you know, that thing. No, stay away. You've made love to her, <laughs> haven't you? Not She's it. a succubus. She's a succubus. Ah! Ah. Stay away from ah, me. Hell. Hey. Come back here. No. <laughs> not to throw it. No, not to mm. lasso. We're gonna lasso the whole magician. She just wants to speak to you. Uh oh hell. He, how's he moving so quick? Oh, well, come on. That's bull. <laughs> what the hell you pulling here? You're here, I'm going to find you. Oh, yeah, very clever. It's steak dinners and dancing for Very Parisian. good, very good. I'm going to get you now. Come here. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, a little person here. He's a magician. We said we told some lady we tracked down. Magnifico. Come? Magnifico! Can't magic out of this, partner. Oh, that's a boar track. Right Come on now, she ain't as bad as all that. Over here. <laughs> now he's up the tree. All right. Well, ain't you led me on a merry old dance. Come on down now. Lady said you had a contract. You want me? Come and get me. <laughs> hey, uh, hold on there. Ah, so damn it. long, dummy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is silly. It's like he's actually disappearing. Really? Really? Not, you don't seem like just run off with distraction. <laughs> He's Batman. <laughs> no, he pulled a rabbit out of there. Oh no. No, no, no. I ain't back. I'm gone on the next train to the Great White Way. Really? You got enough for a ticket? Pa. Because the way Big Fanny tells it, you spent all of our takings on a case of the French pox. Maybe I did. So what? 
What do you need a stump of a showman for? Same bad jokes? The same cheap tricks? In a package half the size? You got Bertram! You got Dummy over there! Who is Dummy anyway? The missing link? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, you oh. dimwit! You sold me out! You should watch your mouth. No, you right don't need that. me. Yeah. You're better <laughs> off without me. Even you, Dummy! Go on, clear off. Aim for the top, all of you. I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. I won't How do you know I look like the little magician? You robbed me. Whoa. You robbed your brother. So you are going to be pulling rabbits out of your ass until you are as old as you are tiny. Put them up there. Oh, tiny. Some friends, some friends. We ain't friends. No. We're family, as much as it pains me to say it. Family. Still after everything? Well, of course, you silly little man. And him? Let him at the bar agree to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. I uh, know. Come to Mama. Oh, Please. I did miss you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, don't you ever run off on us like that again. <laughs> Back together. Back together. I'm glad it all worked out. Thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you. Uh, I think they got some inspiration from the oh, movie Goonies. So just a little bit. We gotta there. give you a piece of the gate on our next show. That's what that reminds me of. We'll be playing San Denis next. What was his name? Check with the box office. Here. No one said anything about splitting the gate. Oh, shut up. Half man and half wit. Bye bye. What I done to sloth. you two? Sloth. The sloth. It seemed like they took some inspiration from the Goonies there. Alright, <laughs> that was weird. Oh, my temporary horse come along too. Go home. Go home, horse. Go on now. Go on now. Go on out here. Heading up here to Rain's Fall. Talk to him. To talk some sense yeah. into that Native American. Not to attack the army. Hey there, and so what's up today, Hazan? How you doing? Oh, you yeah, already asked that. I didn't know, but I mean, uh, what are you up to? I didn't mean to say how you doing again. <laughs> I forgot. Did I come across a boar or a rabbit? I need to try to get them. Sometime. Probably not during these missions, probably ain't the best idea. But I have to wait till I'm done, I'm done doing missions. Because if I die during a the mission, there goes that uh, pelt that I have on my horse. Hi there, mister. Hey there, mister. Oh, yeah. there's a rabbit. A rabbit I could do. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, I got my horseman challenge done too. Cool. Oh, no, Ninja. No, I'm still not done, man. Easy, easy. I, I'm, I'm working on missions, though. I'm on chapter six. I just do a lot of side stuff. <laughs> What's up, Ninja? Hey, how's it going? Ah, oh, that was a one star rabbit. So that was just a waste of time. Do you like my beard, uh, Ginger? <laughs> He's got a level 10 beard. I need a three star rabbit. And then I'll be pretty close to getting my Marauder outfit. Yep. That's good, that's good. Oh, I'm about to run into a tree there. 
Why they want me to go around that way? Is there like a cliff over here? <laughs> it looks so bad. <laughs> it is starting to look pretty unruly. <laughs> I wanted to see it to get to 10, and I guess I probably will style it here sometime. <laughs> We might do that on stream today. Hey there, friend. Wanna take the weight off? Let's see what he has to Fire's say. These the strangers at the campfires will talk about all kinds of stuff sometimes. Hey. Hey. <laughs> what? Mikasa Sukasa, friend. So you got a girl, mister? <laughs> okay. That's weird. Me neither. Oh, it, Got my eye on one, though. I was hunting north of Vannisburg when I came across this cabin. Some plain pork. And there's no one there but this woman. A bit bony, but beautiful as the day is long. Real elegant fancy type, too. I see how like them too, friend. Don't know what she's doing out there in the middle of nowhere, but turns out she's a widow. She asked me to leave, but in a real nice way. M made me feel good. I watched her from the bushes for a while, saw her cry. Hell of a thing. I think this is a place I could really hang my saddle. A hot dinner and warm bed every night? Mmm, don't sound bad to me at all. Okay. That... All right, I need to cool down a bit. All right, he's a weirdo. <laughs> you know, I can't... Have we met before someplace? Just have one of those faces. He'll know. No, uh this is the last thing I need. Kill that guy. <laughs> nah, I ain't been going around just killing everybody. But Goodbye. What's up with him? He's gonna end up like killing that woman or something. Yeah. Should I follow him? Is it too late? Where's he at? Yeah, he's creep. Yeah, but I've been trying to keep my get my honor up to the max. So I don't want to lose honor for just killing people. I don't know on you, man. Max and then got the lowest. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna leave him alone. Let's just go on. <laughs> we'll go on the road here and uh, do the cinematic camera. Yeah, I heard something about outfits for Max and Man Honor, do yeah. So I'll get the Max one, and I don't know if I'll fool with getting them the minimum one though. I don't know.
So I think I've probably been trying to get a bunch of different outfits out. There's like a couple of those uh, Trapper outfits I'm working on. Uh, the Desperado and Marauder outfit. Um, halfway done with the Marauder outfit and a little over halfway done with the Des Desperado. So I've got my squirrel hat I like, and there's a one called the deer, deer cavalry hat I kind of like. I've got, I have the deer part, but I need eight more raven feathers. Yes, Alright, is this on ambush or not? Whoa, it kind of had that sound. So I'm going to be prepared. Yeah, maybe she's a snake bite. <laughs> Hands up now. Do it. I ain't gonna repeat myself. Oh hell there's a bunch of guys. Goddamn bastard. There you go. Take that. Stupid ambush people. <laughs> it wouldn't let me shoot it first. Or it wouldn't let me go into dead eyes, what it was. I think. Hey, she had some salted venison on her. There was a cool ambush earlier, uh, Ginger, uh, where there's some of the, the Muffry. Uh, gang the hillbilly gang they uh, lured me into this trap of the hole in the ground I fell into it and I was like dang <laughs> and the two of them come peeking up over the edge and I had to kill them yeah, I'll take that hat I didn't even mean to tag this oh there's a witness what the heck I was defending myself Where's the witness? What? What? What bull? No. Ah, come on. I don't want to just kill him. But I was going to threaten him. But I can't get my horse to come here. Come on. Catch up to me, Oreo. Nah. We're just going to have to get the heck out of here. <laughs> yeah. We've just defended ourselves. Damn. If we don't hang around, it'd be, be alright. Oh, 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 what, what were those? Rams. I need a ram. There's a three star, anyway. Ah, one and two. Damn. So this is the ram area. Where am I at? Didn't mean to go into that. Okay, it's got a little ram symbol. Alright, so I'll be able to come back here and find that some find a three star ram sometime. I need that for the Desperado outfit. Get out of here, you're, you're poor Rams. You know you're not good. 
Ah, one star, one star rabbit. Sorry, my wife uh, crazy was texting me there. Oh, don't just jump on it. What are you, what are you doing, Oreo? <laughs> what the heck happened here? Somebody's tent got burnt down. That's a nice view. Okay there. Slowly walk over, not jump over. The mountains. It's pretty. Actually, I don't think we got a bounty for that because it was just like a witness thought I murdered somebody. Hey there. <laughs> don't put hey port there. your gun at him. the next mission. Howdy fellers. Hey mister. There's a waterfall down there. Two waterfalls actually. I uh, hear there's like two epilogues to this game. I'm in, ch I'm in the last chapter, but then there's like two epilogues. I have a feeling it doesn't end well for Arthur. He's been sick for like the last whole chapter. He's got TB. <laughs> like, dang. <laughs> oh, oh, wait a minute. That, that's the John mission. No, no, not, oh, no, it's not. We passed the John mission, I think. We'll be doing that next. Uh, one. Some I thought I, I've been trying to avoid spoilers, but I thought like somebody had mentioned in a, like a forum that something about two epilogues. No. Well, oh well. Maybe they were just mistaken. Or is it? All right, we're on the reservation here. Hey, Mister. Whatever. Hello, sir. What's the real reason that you're here? <laughs> That's the way of it. Well then. You okay, boy? That's the way Two parts of the epilogue. Good I man. That's why I was. They were meaning. Uh, there's a dog. That's a, a coon hound. Blue tick. Blue tick coon hound. He needs a pet. Here, boy. 
Come on. <laughs> there we go, finally. I think. What's it doing? Hey, boy. Hair is not the best in this game. That's the one the only thing that doesn't look real good. <laughs> good story, hurry up and complete it. <laughs> Mister. I wouldn't stay around here too long if I was you. And I like to do little things like that, like I was petting the dog, go hunt go hunting and stuff. I'm not in a big hurry. I was in chapter two for a long time. You don't sound very well. I'm He's not. just spreading that around everywhere, isn't he? I think I'm dying. And I hope you find peace. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? I believe you went on a raid with him. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors. He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Uh, that? I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious, and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. So does Dutch. <laughs> That's why right. I get along with him, I think. But for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men. I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. <sighs> Uh, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! Mm. I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection. Oh, is that where I went and saw those uh, draw the painting? It's like a, like a Native American drawing on the side of a rock. Is that where we're heading? What is this news, Captain Munro? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I, I did meet again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in Saint Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. I'm sorry to be forward, but there's Oh, he wants me to answer. Oh, Whoops. <laughs> I can help. That's good news. Well, I hadn't seen a minute camera, I didn't know. 
Come until he said that the second time. You can. <laughs> He's like, well, come on, give me an answer, man. I think that's where we're heading. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. We'll continue on this There's way. This is the painting way up in the mountains. Herbs to give you. It's like a uh, pretty cool. Uh, ah, easy. Thank you. I think there's a bunch of handprints, and then. See the wolf. Who's over there feasting on that horse? Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Good. There was no need to harm them. Oh, uh, he wouldn't let me if I shot at that rabbit, man. Huh? <laughs> if it had been a three star, I was going to. Talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. So, we don't know each other too well, but I wanted to speak to you about your son. I was there on the raid to steal back those horses, and, uh, well, you know something to Dutch, I think. Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. I don't have to wait. We gotta pick some plants. looking for English mace okay let's continue on so I was saying yes a little mostly from your friend Charles I don't know why Dutch is getting involved in your situation and this ain't easy to say but I just don't trust that he's got your son's best interests at heart. So what can we do? I don't rightly know. Charles and I just thought you should be aware. Maybe there's a way to stop things from getting any more out of control. A bit late for that, Thank I think. you, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some thought. You know... I had a son once. What? Years ago. Don't talk about him much. No, oh, what was his name? Isaac. I didn't know that. His mother, Eliza, was a waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day and... Wait, ah. stop here. You interrupted my store. I want to pick some ginseng. We can talk more about <laughs> this later. There's another game that did that a lot. That I was playing. Like you get to a certain point of like, what was I saying again? Once they start this talking. Will combine again? well. Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. Mix these together. It tastes awful. But it'll help to keep your strength up. So can I do that now? All right, let's go. It's not much further now. Yeah, I probably gotta go to a camp. Something, mix them. 
So you were saying? So I got there one day and saw two hey. crosses outside. I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed oh. them and shot them dead. Oh. And offered ten dollars. Hardened me. Feeling that kind of pain. But I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. I think you're being hard on yourself. Maybe. All I can. You put on some winter clothes. I noticed that they're. Uh, I don't have. What to do now is mm. try and make oh, some wait. things right. It's kind of cool as you can see the, the breath coming out of the horses. It's all fostered. It's so cold. Yeah, this is where we're going. I, remember this, I recognize this area. I think. Is this a Native American drawing? appreciate the herbs, but I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. This situation we're in, me, Dutch, and the others, I don't know how long I got, but some of them, they still got a chance to have a life. I just think it, if I could give them that, then... Maybe this ain't all for nothing. I think there is much you can still do, Mr. Morgan. It's just up ahead. What's happened? No! Well, maybe that's not where we're heading. It can't be. Oh, that's a burnt tent I come across. Good, come in here. Oh, that's a squirrel. Destroyed everything. No, I need to find the Chinupa. Who, who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. Of course. What is it? What is it? A uh, ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. Some whiskey here. No. Some whiskey uh, here. I see no end to any of this. One's him already stuck. And have you seen her? It's like we're doing some crazy chicken. He's done now. <coughs> I'm going to drink that bourbon there so we can pick that one up. <laughs> They couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, still no sign of the Chinupa. The Chinupa. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, we talked about that. <laughs> What's going on here? Look there. Oh. Huh. oh, it's 
smoke down there. Quick, Mr. Morgan. There's someone down there. Do you have any binoculars? Oh, there they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But... But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. No, they've taken the last hope. No, my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Not if I get it back. Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, I know one will be any the wiser. Would you do that? Well, you can't go. They know why you'd come. I, uh... My help. Don't have any money. No, I don't need your money. My health, of course. Please see if they have our sacred items. But try not to hurt anyone. Huh? I don't know, I'm gonna get a train. That's the only way it looked like to get all the way. He finally got the max length his beard. <laughs> oh. Why does it stick out like that? I don't know. Oh. I got everything in the world in it. Yeah, just a little bit of biscuits and oh, probably some beans. Going and... to look for <laughs> I'm cold. I'm still on my health core is draining. That's what's going on. Easy. But I don't think I have a cold outfit on my. Does that one count? Let's see. Maybe. Killing them. This guy do do. Once you turn around, rather than get there. Somebody sees him.
this is near this is near France. Well, it's in France. Indians is from here. Where are you from? Me? Oosh. From Milwaukee. Oh hell. Something's over here. How the hell do you hear me? False alarm. <laughs> False alarm. So the guys took looking this way. Nah. There's a chest here. Alright, we can't carry any more potent miracle tonics, so we just take one. Get this guy before he comes back and I oh, turn around. Hey, ah, so damn it. Oh, then he went back into camp, though. That made a lot of sense. Do this without getting spotted. Guess it was nothing. Where are we supposed to be looking exactly? He's blind. <laughs> it's like Assassin's Creed. You should have seen me over the crate, really. <laughs> ah! Done that just <laughs> the bedroll jumped for some reason. I guess not one of those patrol people saw me. So 
some gun oil. Oh, there's some gun oil. Let's clean the gun. Take it. So we usually don't have to worry about buying anything. There's just stuff everywhere. More stimulant. I'm full on that too. That's a cigar. Ooh, there's a special hat. It's glowing. Military mounting hat. It's slightly different than the one I had, but not much. <laughs> Usually you get to keep those when they're glowing like that. I don't know if we have to make it back to camp with it or what. But. Where's this pipe? Is it just on one of the guys or something? Let's loot them and see. Oh, right here. It says pick up Chanupa and, sa and the sacred items. I didn't really know exactly what it looked like I was looking for. We tried not to kill everybody, but... Some of them were just knocked out. So we didn't kill everybody. Poison arrow pamphlet. So I hadn't already learned how to make poison arrows. So to, they would have taught me how. Anything else of interest? Around here. Doesn't look like it. I know, I'm returning to rainfall. Hang on. Okay. We got his Chanupa back. Some, some other sacred. Documents, artifacts, and nice job. Yep. I thought he was taking us to that that, that uh, Native American painting I remember seeing up in the mountains. Come to think of it, I think it was more way up this way, though. Please tell me you found it. Here, I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes, thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? Yes. It's a bad business. I should not have let you do this for me. I'll try not to hurt Perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. With these, maybe I can calm my people. Maybe I can calm my son. I hope so. 
Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. That was more of a slower paced uh, mission, but it was interesting. He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. Got a fish. I would love to help him, or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. Recover it without being detected. I was working on that. I'm still doing the minute and a half. Alright, let's make camp and uh, take those herbs. Together. The water looks really good in this game. Yeah, her ducks shoot, shoot. How do I do it? Something I can't do until the story has me do it? What? I thought maybe I could just go ahead and take those herbs. Oh well. Okay, girl. Been a while. Oh, there's another stranger mission over here. Let's go do that. We're gonna cut through the water though. Let's this thing go all the way around. Get us a bath here.
Easy now. Hey! You there? Can you help? You the stranger ones aren't on ambushes, so you don't have to worry about that. Sir, oh, there he is. Some help! Can you help me, mister? What's the problem? My goddamn horse got spooked and run off. Hurt? Not too bad, at least. But he took my damn leg. Sorry. He went that way, I think. His name's Buell. Buell? Second time a prick named Buell cost <laughs> me a leg. Huh? Buell was my general when I lost it. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, if you see an angry bastard of a horse... Oh, beard clipping to it. My wooden leg. Cool. I'd be real grateful. I'll bear that in mind. In here, Bill. Get back here, Bill. Gotta be careful going down here to take off the fall. <laughs> Spooky. Oh, that's a not cool horse. Shit, spooked all right. Dutch warm blood. Walking faster. This is the speed it makes it let me go. So. Well, it's taking a little while getting back. Aside from when the devil got him. Hey, you wanna hand me that leg there, please? And while you're at it, give old Buell a kick <laughs> for me, would you? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> War him but a snake that spooked him. <clears throat> you're a real gentleman, you know? Sometimes, maybe. Yeah, how'd you lose a leg? Oh, in the war. Cannonball. Pretty clean, though. I don't have much pain, and I didn't get any gangrene. Young boy went into battle with me, got cut in half, so all things considered, I'm doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, I guess. So, uh, how is the false one? It's okay. I can still hunt, fish, 
enjoy the outside. I weren't sent too crazy by it. Anyway, I ain't got much to pay you with. You know, that's okay. You like fishing? You can come with me someday. I know some pretty good spots. Uh, I'm a pretty poor fisherman. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm great. So between the two of us, we do okay. My cabin is right over on the other Ooh. side of a crazy run there. That. Thanks again. Yeah, you throw me again, you old dumb bastard. I'm gonna put a bullet in you. No. I'll see you again. We might go do that. Did it mark him on the map? It's like okay, another fishing girl. mission. I think I tell you. Maybe how you do the legendary fish. HS on the map. May have to wait a while. Because he's not there yet. Yeah. Yeah, some other time, I guess. Is that a bear? Let's go see what Captain Monroe wants. It's a bit of a trek back up in the mountains, but not too bad. Oh, hey, what's this rabbit? Throw it up. Ah, lost it. Be on the lookout for some of these animals I need to. Oh, a bull elk. I think I need an elk. Um, not as a bull, but I believe that you can get something from the bull elk made. So we're gonna want like the uh, rolling block. Let's just leave the horse here for a minute. Did I already spook it? Did it take off? Yeah, there's no trail to follow either. Probably should have grabbed my varmint rifle in case I come across a three star rabbit. Good shot of its head there from this angle. Trying not to spook his turkey. Okay, here we go. I don't think I can carry both of them anyway. On the horse. Uh, 
probably not let me target him. Because I'm on this hill. There we go. Hey, three stars still. Up. Oh, <laughs> look how fast it took it. That one was that was silly. That's a. No. <laughs> usually the skin is usually fairly gruesome and halfway realistic, but all of a sudden I just had it. <laughs> Probably don't want to get into a mission then. I probably need to go find that trapper. Oh, it's just right over here. Cool. So back we go. Turn in this uh, bull elk yep. pelt. See if we come across a rabbit too. I need to have my varmint rifle ready. Come across a rabbit, that'll help out on that outfit I'm needing. I just need one more rabbit. Originally it was four. And I need to figure out where the oxes are, the armadillo. I'm sure cows and bulls are just probably people so you have to like kill. I don't think I've seen any wild cattle. So uh, playing this game has had me in the mood to watch some westerns. I, had, I don't usually like westerns all that much. but uh, So I looked on Netflix and Hulu and there, there's not a whole lot to choose from. Uh, I watched uh, Unforgiven the other day. That's a really good movie. Clint Eastwood, Morgan Freeman, Gene Hackman. I've never actually seen all that movie before. See if I see a rabbit. On the way to the trapper here. They can't, there's rabbits there everywhere, so. Pretty much everywhere. Some dead body. I don't think I've seen the NPCs do that just from somebody they come across. <laughs> it's just, he's taking off a long time. <laughs> One star. It's kind of hard to see, but it was only one star. Yeah. Slow up now. This ain't, this ain't the best way to really hunt rabbits. But. Oh, 
Oh, it is a three-star rabbit. Let's hop off the horse and follow that trail. Armament rifle. That sounds like a bear. There's a bear up in the mountain somewhere. So we can actually follow this trail to where this rabbit settled down. It doesn't despawn as far as I, I can tell. tell. He ran off for a bit and then settled somewhere. All right there. Can't see though. Oh, down that way. That's why I was here. Oh, somebody coming on a horse. I'll scare it off. That should have done it. I had to get to that shot in for the guy on the horse got there. Yep, three stars. Clean kill. So we can turn that rabbit in too. And the, we can take the sell the rabbit carcass uh, too. You don't get but like like four dollars or something, two dollars, not much. It's rabbit season. Come on, girl. <laughs> the horse always makes you come that last little bit to him. All right, good haul. So that's why I have not beat the store yet. <laughs> I get to doing a lot of this. So. All this stuff here. Trampers down this hill. The ones that were a pain in the butt to get were the squirrels. You had to use a bow and arrow, small game arrow. And they're always like when running into like weeds and stuff and it's, it's hard to really get them I think I need to head back to my camp too to make sure I keep this hat I'm not sure I don't know if you just when you pick it up you have it or what? there's some bad blood I don't know about here what I'm sorry, partner. What? Why did he say that? Thank you for your help. Perfect elk pelt. And a dollar seventy-five for that rabbit. So here's what I needed though: rabbit pelt. Not the poor one, but we'll go ahead and sell it. Elk antler. I don't think he crafts stuff. I think the camp. Good to see you again. So, buying or selling? All right. So now it's all made to measure. The uh, Marauder outfit. I'm a lot closer. See, I can go ahead and get the uh, cavalry hat. So I still need a cowhide for that, for the vest, and a bullhide for the chaps. 
And I got the snake skin cavalry gloves. Go ahead and get that. That was my. This is my second favorite outfit. The one I really like is the Desperado. So I've got the Desperado. I've already got the beaver hat. Ooh, I got enough for the gloves. Rabbit and uh, muskrat. Sandy, a ram, two armadillos, and a goat, an ox, and a boar. I'm getting close on those outfits. I need to mark off the rabbits. I got a list here. I've actually written down in like a little notebook. <laughs> All right. Now on to the mission. The mission now. Let's go see what that uh, that army guy Monroe wants. Need some food. His cords are getting low. Mixing it up, not just doing all story missions all the time. Oh, that's cool. Hard to see. my dead eye core before we get into a mission. Still all kinds of animals I haven't even seen in this game. Oh jeez, blind to me.
Easy, easy. I'm trying to get where I can study it. It won't stay in view long enough. There we go. Use a varmint rifle for a clean kill. Oh my gosh, horse. Sorry. Oh my god. I fell onto the horse. That was weird. <laughs> I didn't try to get on the horse, all of a sudden I just fell on it. Let's see if we can find that hawk. Let me go to the angle here. And we can get up this mount. Uh, no. Come on, Arthur. Grab onto some rocks or something. You can't go up there. We'll shoot. Like I said, Hawk is just gone, man. <laughs> so it definitely ain't like Skyrim. In Skyrim, you could like take your horse up a slope like that. <laughs> yep. I knew the horse wouldn't go. I thought Arthur might be able to uh, angle. But no. Yeah. Oh, that ain't a perfect ram, is it? Ah, oh, it is. Completely. I may have ruined that one. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. Howdy, fellas. Hey there, mister. All right. Three star ram. Just wait a second, girl. Well, hopefully he'll stick around on a horse so we don't die during this mission or something. I'm not going back to the trapper again. Let's go, girl. We'll just hopefully uh, nothing bad happens. <laughs> if not, I don't think it's that hard to get those. went over. It's not good for being impatient to try to go around those two guys. So I just let them clear through. Yeah. Right, we're on our way to Captain Monroe's like military camp. He wants a fa some kind of favor. Almost there. Uh, man. Are you the man? 
Somebody need some help. Gotta hurry and get there too, he's under attack by walls, it looks like it sounds like. Oh come on! Get back. I got up there as fast as I could. Jeez. I lost honor for not getting up there to save him. We're not skinning the guy, we're skinning the wolf. I tried, man, sorry. RIP, stranger. Oh, this is a poor wolf pelt, but we already have it. We might as well just take it. I figured it was many times I shot that wolf. Oh, is that that guy's horse? He was attacked by the wolves? Yeah. yeah, I couldn't see him from down here to shoot the wolf. I don't know how I was supposed to get up there faster. Flying into the river. We need to feed our horse something here. This ain't arm camp. This is back at the She's going Mexican. out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. Thought we were through with all of this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made. And apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? To be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out. He knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's huh. ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. 
Supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. <laughs> we surely shall. Now come. Okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. Fill up my data core. Cigar. So this Colonel Fabe, he knows you're up here helping these people. Yes. And no. He knows I'm here to produce a report. Oh, come on, wait up. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. He can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Uh, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. Rod has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We really cannot afford more conflict. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Fall and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the vaccine. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. The big jerk. It's holding the uh, vaccines from sick, sick Native American children. All right, this is the spot I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. Sorry, I thought we were going up there. Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. Well, <laughs> oh, damn. Over the road from this the lunch. hell? Did he do that to me? Hopping off his horse? should come along this way okay you're a good man mr. Morgan but I fear this task to be a fool's errand well firstly I'm a long way from a good man secondly fool's errands are my favorite okay. kind of work fair enough in that case I can see we shall be great friends <laughs> may I ask you a question of course why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. <laughs> there. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean. Understand me? Don't worry. I'm as clean as they come. <laughs> All I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no. I, I can't promise. I'm supposed to shoot him or ride down there. Hey there, girl. Yeah. Hey, 
Hang on, girl. Gotta catch up with this wagon. Let's see, we need to have, let's see, like the word Peter or something. Nah, we lost the honor if we're doing that that way. Damn. Alright, how do I get the vaccine out of here? I was meaning that as a warning shot, but they didn't take it that way. <laughs> well, we took something besides this medicine, but I'm not sure. venison Go get them the medicine to this uh, sick people over here. Uh, speaking of like medicines for people that need it, I'm also got a link in my description where I'm for the rest of the year I'm trying to raise money for Extra Life. They run, and they uh, give money to sick uh, the support to sick children in the lo local area. Anything that I raise go to. University of Kentucky Children's Hospital. I got a link in the description. Anybody that wants to can donate. I'm doing that throughout the rest of the year. Especially since I didn't raise very much for Extra Life Game Day. Not very many people showed up on my screen. So I figured I figured I'd do that for the rest of the year. To even get raise a little more. Back. Sorry, I had to kill him, guy. Captain Monroe, I got the medicine. Ah, oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It uh, it didn't go too <laughs> bad. I'll have to take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <laughs> yeah, well. I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. I think I figured out how I take all the herbs that the I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. Hope it's hope so to the second part, but not the first part. <laughs> so he, the Native American guy, he gave me ginseng and uh, what's the other one? 
English mace. It says used in crafting, but I don't know how to do it yet. I don't know how to, like, make anything with it. It's a tonic. Special health care. Is that it? So that's got ginseng, English mace. I think that is it. I, mean, I was looking in the wrong spot. Okay. We gotta get out of here to be able to do that. Okay, girl. Gotta make camp. Was well, one of those is flashing? One of the missions. Why is that one flashing like that? Is that, is that like a time, like a limited time, or? It says Trelawney wants to talk with me. We might head over and do that. See what's up with that. Yep. Okay there. It says I have no recipes available for tonics. It just showed them. Uh. I'm confused. Oh, there now. There's now they're there. That is really weird. That's why I didn't see this before. But they did show me nothing there. Oh, it says it's locked. No, not this one. So this is the one. But it won't let me craft it. Why? Oh, it says I already have that, so that's not what. Or I've already figured that out. Hmm. Okay. So I already have that stuff that he was giving me the herbs to make. Special health care. Unless it's something else. I don't, I don't know. Okay then, girl. No, well, that one's not flashing anymore. Let's just go ahead and do this Marston mission. It's right here. Maybe there's a 
This is the fastest way. Okay, so who we got in chat? I'm thinking that's not the fastest way. It's making me going to crawl through this camp. Let's turn back around and go this way. try going the, the way it's not telling me to. <laughs> I think I can get there. Yeah, I don't know why the little GPS thing was just being bonkers there. Hey there. I think I can actually go down this way. This looks closer to the right way. Instead of having me go on the up away from the I killed something. Good. I ran over something. Yeah, that's my girl. <laughs> I'm gonna take the railroad tracks for a little while. Yeah. And we're here. See, that was better than the way they were trying to tell me to go. Up, Marston? Arthur, how you doing? Nervous, but I've been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail, and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels, I don't know. Stupid. Like you're stringing <laughs> us along, I know. <laughs> Killing in cold blood, revenge. We all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies, more chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in Saint Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? You can. You could give something to Jack. It's that or... Well, I don't see no way out of this. But what about loyalty? You're loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'll be okay, but do it for me. It would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. That's why it takes off. And now? Now we got to help Dutch give the army one final tweak on his <laughs> nose. <laughs> yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. <sighs> well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. Ride this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down underneath to plant the charges. I've already set up the detonator. So I'm not really in the right position. Why am I like I'm not actually on the thing? Yeah, this is what I'm talking heck? about. <laughs> I'm supposed to be going over here grabbing or the other one. All right. I mean, we're about to blow up a bridge for Christ's sake. Oh, this is messed up. What the heck? It's acting weird because I can't tell. I'm not on it. Alright, stop. Here's good. <laughs> I was just perched over on the side all weird. We'll need it. I'll climb down there, you lower the crates. Alright, let me know when you're ready. Got it. Ready when you are. I'm at the bottom 
of the ladder here to your left. There's good. Lower it down. Okay, start lowering it down. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. <laughs> Let's don't blow John up there. Nearly there. Okay, good. Grab the other one. Ooh, that's pretty over there. The waterfalls. Like, John, I don't think it's a good idea. Let's just go look at the waterfalls and forget this stuff. Okay, let's go. Nice and easy. I say let's go swim, but John, you don't what know how to swim. <laughs> okay, grab yourself a bundle from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, I gotta get a picture here. What do we think would look best? Something like that? I gotta turn the hood, my hood off though, because I want to get that mini map off the screen. Just hang on just a second, sorry. I'm gonna get a good, cool screenshot here. Let's see. Hood. Off. Not the map. Ah. Better work. Turn the mini map back on because without that, it's, some stuff is pretty hard to do. All right, now back to the story. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm enjoying the nature. These are mine in charge. They ain't easy to come by. If they don't do the job, nothing will. Looks like we really only needed like maybe one of those crates of dynamite. There's a bunch left in there. Done that no matter what. Faster, buddy, come on. Shit. Arthur, a train. Come on, quick. Pump this stupid thing as hard as you can. Now get up here. Let's go, let's go. We'll just get to the end of the bridge and jump. It's right on it. Come on. <laughs>
<laughs> it seemed like it would have been like getting a minute of that. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> that just ain't how I want to die. Come on. Let's go blow this thing up. Um, I think the line held. You want the honors? Sure. Sure. All right, here we go. Old Dutch got all the smoke he wants. <laughs> Let's hope so. You really think that that'll draw attention away from us? No. I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that cost. You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It was all I knew. It's all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. Don't look back. Don't look back until the... the Think about it. I've done a lot game. of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For an idea that don't work no more. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money. For safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. Those eyes aren't looking good at all. I don't know. Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. Yeah! <coughs> 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 Take a money and run. Okay. I take a bit of a rest there. I didn't take plant the dynamite in time or escape the train within 19 seconds because of me playing around taking a screenshot. <laughs> Is there anything out of worth picking up around here? I can't get in there. Bust out the window. Let me in there. I'll rob the place. No. Well, alright. Oh, we got 
get some bounty hunters down that way. About four of them. Oh, hell, they're coming. You, sir, are going off the cliff. Oh, there's another the one there I need to loot, I think. Is there a way we can get them into the water? Probably off the bridge, huh? I can call my horse over here so I can take off once we're done with this. <laughs> it's time for you, sir, to be sleeping with the fishes. Let's be careful not fall off of here. <laughs> that would really suck. Whoa. stuff down there before you went in the water. <laughs> Oreo, why are you pooping on the railroad tracks? Yeah. Right, we're over here to talk with Back, oh, it's back at camp. Okay. Go back to camp and talk to Trelawney. My horse's uh, health core is like, extremely low. Stuff that slightly restores health core. There's a horse. Do I have like tonics that'll do better? There we go. Fully restores uh, horse health. 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 It didn't though. Oh, that's not the core. You all right, girl. So the food's the only way to do the core. That's 
slow though. I need to, I guess I need some better food for my horse, some hay or something. But just barely touching that. I'm trying to point that gun at you, sir. Down out of the mountains. It's that elk we uh, hunted uh, a while ago. I think I'd make a pit stop at the trapper before we go back to camp. I need to turn in these pelts. I'm going to be wrapping up about, about 4.30 or so today, a little early, 4.35, that spells out, uh, Hanover, is that what I'm saying? Yeah, you, uh, do Hanover, yeah, <laughs> and rocks. See it better, like from over here. No, too many trees. There we go. That's weird. I didn't see that before. New Hanover. It's way took time to lay a bunch of rocks there to spell. <laughs> Almost to the trapper. Easy, easy. Uh, that hill's a bit steep. We better go over here. Uh, 
Glad to see you again, sir. Okay, let's take a look at it. All right, perfect ram hide, and this one just probably had it. Poor wolf pelt. This is no good. All right. The ram could be marked off my list for the Desperado outfit. Now all I need is two armadillo, a goat, and an ox. It's not doing one of these weird things to tell me to go way. Yeah, it don't want me to cross this river right up here. I mean, just... I no point doing all that. Wade through the river. There we go. Slow down a little bit for this hill. Good girl. There, girl. Yeah. Hey, there, we can't go down that. Would be a good idea. Do you have a good day? Yeah. You shut the door. to ride the horse all the way into camp. Oh, where's, where's the hitching post? Over here. Hey, that horse looks a lot like you. You got a cold heart. Now you know that ain't true. Of course it ain't, but I'm scared. Me too. Me too. Mary Beth. Hi, Arthur. I don't know what to tell you, Mary Beth. Things are tense right now. So, how do we fix this? Uh, I ain't sure. Really ain't. We'll work something out. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Sure, Miss okay. Venezuela. I just don't think Molly could have told him that much. If she told them where we are, that's enough. <sighs> True. Okay, I'll catch you well, later. She then. Stick around. Sure. She's taking off. <laughs> I'll be here. Hi, Arthur. 
Hard to believe it's come to this. We gotta stay behind Dutch. That's the only way. I don't know. Hell of time, Arthur. Hey. How's it going? I ain't doing so good. Mm-hmm. There's any more food and stuff I can pick up. No? Slim pickings here lately. Mr. Morgan. So very sad. I... I don't know. I don't know. Can you even donate to the camp anymore? I don't think you can do that anymore. No, like, logbook thing anymore. No? Let's go ahead and read this and see what this letter is. I've been sitting here. Dear sir, you were once very kind to Bo and myself, and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness. Dear sir. But I have nowhere else to turn, and nobody else upon whom I can impose. I will, of course, pay you handsomely for your troubles. My family have turned quite mad and are threatening to send me away to stop my work, which they say is disgracing them. As if their history of absolute moral depravity, utter debauchery, and perpetual drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. I must escape, yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? Most days, I am to be found at the cabins on the plantation. The main house and all it stood for are, thankfully, no more. Yours faithfully, Penelope Braithwaite. Alright, so that's uh, one of the Braithwaites that we were helping her and the, the boy that's from the other family. It's a new, a new day. <laughs> so, what are you thinking of the the story so far? At the near the end, have you already seen this stuff? You're doing <laughs> the right thing. I can't believe it's got I to be. I think it's all boring. I know, but here we are. Oh yeah, yeah, I do want to trim his beard. I wanted to go to like the barber and do it though. Let's go do that real quick and then I think I might wrap up there. I'm going to end a little early, I think. I'm going to go into this little bit. Because unfortunately I got to get him down something drink. Oh, okay. Oh, you hadn't? Oh, okay. Now, wait a minute. That horse, that horse's spots are way too perfect. Look at that. It's my cane. <laughs> well, that's just how it is. No, it's my tag. <laughs> oh, I don't see him pooping. Look at this. <laughs> I wasn't trying to. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's watch the nearest, nearest tailor. Uh, barber shop, I mean, not tailor. <laughs> Saint Denis. You know, like tailor up here? Like, <laughs> yeah. There we go. 
Barber. I didn't see him as one. I said I had one though. All right. You keep your eyes open, Bill. Hi, Arthur. I want that at all. Oh, you can double check. No, I probably did. You didn't see him. Give Arthur a trim here and then uh, probably wrap up. Woo, y'all look a little lost. <laughs> Run that guy over. <laughs> Man, he got ambushed. No, no, not like trucks. <laughs> Shotguns, like they're missing a head. Oh my God. They're, they're mad we took their, their camp. We had two bucks. Three fifty. Oh, that's the that's the Japanese thing. Huh? That's the Japanese thing. Waifu. Yeah. Don't be telling. It's like an anime kind of thing. Nobody's supposed to know. <laughs> Nobody's supposed to know. <laughs> all right, here we go. I got all kinds of them. Ooh, there's a three rabbits. No, there's more. So there's, there's all kinds of rabbits in the, around here. Like seven of them. <laughs> yeah, there's a girl. Be careful. Uh, crazy just left. Yeah. I I really don't have a favorite. Now I've watched them, but I'm not I'm not big on those movies. Really. She would have a favorite, but she just left.
What is going on? Whoa. Dang, he just died. Alright. <laughs> yeah. I'm wanted dead or alive in a lot of places now. <laughs> Call this quits. Uh, screen quits after we trim Arthur here as a barber. I'll be back Wednesday. We'll play play some more. Red Dead. That's a good girl. Going through the swamp now. Gotta watch out for gators. Saint Denis. No, uh, no, I was just talking in general as uh. Clean shaven. We'll see what what we're gonna do. Oh, how do you do? Yep. Ah, keeping the soap sellers in business with all that hair, huh? Only a trim or something fancy? Something like? fancy, I think. Buzz cut, we go bald. <laughs> we'll look, we'll do like a Walter White. <laughs> Come on, friend. What can I do for you? I'm still trying to figure it out, dude. Alright, something like that, I guess. That's pretty decent. <laughs> I know it. Yeah, he's trying to tell me to hurry the hell up. Oh, he looks rough clean shaven when he's sick now. Ooh. <laughs> Peek a door. Presidential. <laughs> the ladies 
love a gentleman with a well-groomed mustache. Sparsh. <laughs> Fork Spartan. Oh, that's weird. An apron. Lego mutton. The jo Josiah. I actually kind of like that one for him. I mean, I would never wear anything like that. But. The goatee. <laughs> Soup saver. Burnside. Maltese. The English. Name your style. Uh, I guess we'll go with one of the full styles, but uh, shoot. Was it that one? Which one was the one that I said I kind of liked? You know what that? Yeah, the Josiah, was that the one? Whiskers are all the fashion now, from what I hear. I think we'll go with that, rock that one for a while. That's, uh, that's six cents. Looks pretty good. I wish that's all it costs to get a haircut. Stuff nowadays. Jeez. You got all that for like a dollar or something. There we go. He was getting quite uh Well, I guess we're all done here. Unruly <laughs> looking. <laughs> he had a wild bush of a beard. Good evening, mister. Good night, sir. You can't really get a good look at it. It's getting dark. Evening to you. Evening. Howdy fellers. Howdy fellers. You know what? I'm feeling good today. Glad for it. Alright, let's head out of town. Let me set up camp and make it daytime. We can get a picture of our uh, new uh, Arthur. That's the one I like over here. Almost all the way to the max. It's getting there. We'll, t we'll camp in the swamp here. Okay there.
sleep till morning. Oh, I'm now at my minimum weight. <laughs> I haven't been eating very good, I guess. Let's have something in here. Uh, yeah, you can. You have to keep eating stuff to keep your weight on. And I guess I've kind of uh, have not done that that much lately. It's a very little effect it has to you. I'll show you here in a second. He's sounding good. You are sick while sick you're only gain the benefit from consuming a limited amount of food and drink. Might be got to do where he's sick too. Oh, not the map. It's still too dark. Yeah, to get a good picture. I need a different hat. That hat's hiding his face. Probably use my cam the camera to make a better picture. So I'll turn the hood off and everything. Let <laughs> me pose off, uh, off camera. There we go. That's what our, our Arthur looks like now. Anyway, the weight stuff, click on Arthur here. It says weight, underweight. It says underweight a lot, though. You gotta keep really eating a lot, well, quite a bit to get it back to average. Or It says his uh, stamina damage absorption is down. But he actually has a little bit better stamina where he's underweight. Uh, to a point, I can see that making sense, but not, not a whole lot. <laughs> and I'm hot, so I need to change out of clothes. Well-being, tuberculosis. That's the first time I've actually looked on here and saw that since they told him he has that. So my core drain rates are down by 20% because of that. So that's why I'm having to always refill those things. But the weight only does like a little bit. It, it gives you a benefit in one thing and then takes away something in another. Just very small. Let's see, I need to change his clothes. He said he's wearing too much stuff. He's hot. There we 
Thank you. Alright, though, and guys, I guess that's about it. Let's see, well, what's that animal over there? It's just sitting there. No, I think that's it. Because, uh, we got sick. This is a story thing. I think it's either he's, he's well or he has. Ah, oh, it's only a two star fox. Ro Rosette Spoonbill. Bird. Alligator Snapping Turtle. Bow with a small game arrow for that one. Birds like landed right next to us. I thought I was going to miss it. Oh, I ruined it. It says one star now. It said three star a minute ago, so I didn't get a clean kill. So I did kind of mess up. Damn. So that's a poor one that's not worth anything. Yeah. See what we got around here. Before I quit, I want to see if there's anything worth hunting. Some alligators. Hey, there's a three star. Wow, well, scope rifle. Oh, come on, Oreo. Don't poop on me. That's not the right one, I don't think. We got a clean shot. You can see it. Yep, three stars. Ooh. Such a mile. <laughs> Alright guys, I think that is about it. I'm going to call it quits. <laughs> Before I find more stuff I want to hunt, I need to get off here. Thanks everybody for watching. Uh, thanks for uh, talking.
talking with me, Huzzah. I appreciate it, man. Keep the, the stream uh, entertaining here. Yeah, oh yeah, I'll be back soon. I'm having too good a time with uh, Red Dead to take a big lot of time off. See you, Huzzah. Have a good one. And see who else is watching. Thanks. Hope you have a good night too. See you next time.